Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're talking about this unusual object you see on the screen, which is actually not a planet, at least not in the classical sense. Today we're going to talk about this object known as EF Eridani, and I'm going to explain to you what's going on here. Welcome to What The Math. So this object, which, like I said, is actually not a planet, is orbiting around a white dwarf that you see right there at a distance of about 700,000 kilometers. It's definitely um, some sort of a mass, and it's definitely something that used to be a star, but is no longer a star. And I think the best way for me to explain this is to actually use Universe Sandbox and recreate what happened approximately 500 million years ago. So, once upon a time, approximately 500 million years ago, there were two stars. One of them kind of lived off its life and became a white dwarf, and the other one was just finishing its life and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, basically expanding and turning into a red giant. Now, at this point, uh, because this star was actually getting much bigger, some of its mass started to escape and basically get deposited onto the smaller white dwarf. As a matter of fact, the smaller white dwarf um, basically absorbed a lot of the mass and then most likely went nova a few times, exploding in a bright flash of light that could have been visible uh, from Earth several times. Uh, now, these nova can happen many, many times as the mass is basically being absorbed, and this star essentially starts losing its mass and starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. But at the same time, it also started moving closer and closer to the uh, white dwarf, essentially uh, lowering its distance and approaching the other object. Now, as this sort of continued, at some point, the bigger star, the one that was used to be at least uh, a very large um, red giant, got to the point um, of being so small that it could no longer sustain nuclear reaction. It basically unofficially turned into something similar to a brown dwarf. But even more than a brown dwarf, it kept losing its mass and basically turned into planetary mass. Or not really a true planetary mass, but more of a uh, mass that was substellar. Now, we don't actually have names for these objects because we've never really found any other ones. This is, right now, uh, the only such object that we've discovered that seems to not really meet any sort of uh, qualifications for um, really any kind of uh, classification. Uh, there are some other ones we've discovered that were stars and became planets, but there are no objects that are similar to this. So we don't really know what it actually is. It's basically kind of like a cloud of hydrogen and helium um, sort of orbiting this white dwarf in a distance. A very, very massive, very large, but very sort of poofy mass um, that's more of a cloud than an actual planet. Now, obviously, we haven't really uh, studied this object in a lot of detail just yet because it's pretty far away from us. But uh, just the fact that we've discovered it means that there are definitely other objects similar to it. I've actually talked about a somewhat similar object before that was orbiting a pulsar um, that also used to be a star but then became a kind of a brown dwarf. But in that particular case, it was an actual brown dwarf uh, or a planetary mass. Here though, it's more of a cloud. Because what makes it different is the composition. It doesn't seem to meet compositions for white dwarfs or planets or even brown dwarfs. It's just kind of strange in that way. So in, the, in that sense, um, EF Eridani B is actually one of the most unique objects out there and is definitely not an object that we're going to be seeing anywhere else anytime soon because it's relatively rare to find such a, an unusual pair so close together. Now, usually these objects eventually fall into the object they're orbiting and basically disappear completely. Uh, and this is maybe what's happening here as well because the distance between these two objects has actually been decreasing. But as of today, we're not really sure what's going to happen to this unusual mass. And we also are not really sure what's going to happen to the white dwarf. Because if it ends up absorbing the 
mass that's over there, it could eventually reach the so-called uh, Chandra Zekar limit. And this limit, as I've explained in one of the previous videos, is necessary or basically the minimal required mass needed for a white dwarf to actually go supernova. Now, this could potentially happen in the next few million years, but we don't really know. We don't really know if uh, Eridani B is going to approach uh, closer, if it's going to fall into the white dwarf, and if it's going to initiate the supernova. But it's definitely possible. If it does happen, because this object is only about 300 light years away from us, it's going to be quite bright and quite visible from pretty much anywhere on Earth. And most likely going to be a very beautiful sight to see. But if it doesn't happen, then it's just going to disappear and leave behind a white dwarf that's going to slowly cool down and eventually become a black dwarf. However, at the same time, maybe just maybe this particular mass is actually going to survive all of this and maybe just maybe turn into some sort of a system that we haven't seen before. Maybe it will even have its own sort of planets that will orbit around it, creating some sort of an unusual ecosystem. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video, and I wanted to talk about this unusual object known as EF Eridani B. An object that doesn't really have classification just yet. It's just a mass. Substellar mass, to be exact. And anyway, thank you for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button to be notified about future videos, and maybe even share this with someone who enjoys watching space videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You're going to come back and learn something else, hopefully. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.